Welcome to another edition of our Visual X Masterclass with Mr. Kanyile, your host. Remember that we are looking at uh, a pro probability. I want us to look at the latter part called the fundamental counting principle. Especially I want us to look at how we do the, 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 the codes there. Uh, this was taken from question 5, November 2011. The digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are used to make three digit code. This the keyword there was a three digit code. We want to make a three digit code. Uh, this is 5.1. How many unique codes are possible if digits can be repeated? Now there's a part where the digits can be repeated. I can see the second one cannot be repeated. I'm happy in this question. They, 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 they ask for both, where the repetition is allowed and where the repetition is not allowed. Let, let's make an example before we go to that problem. If I have five chairs here, I've got learners that are coming to sit in these five chairs. The first learner that will be coming to sit, I'm talking about repetition is allowed. If the five learners are coming to sit in this chest, and the one learner, the first learner that is coming to sit in this chest, how many options will this child have? The child will have five options. But because the repetition is allowed, the child can go back and, and come back again. So the next child will have five options, the next child will have five options, and so on and so forth. But what if the repetition is not allowed? The one child will come and sit. We are not allowed to, re to, 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 to repeat. So the next child will have one less option because the other one has already occupied the first seat. The third child will have two less options where the child can sit. So that's the difference between the repetition that is being allowed and that is the repetition that is not allowed. Now, how many unique codes are possible if digits can be repeated? In this way, the, 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 the the, the digits can be repeated. Remember, it's the three digit code. So this code must have only three digits. One, two, three. How many options do we have in the first uh, uh, digit? How many unique codes are possible if digits can be repeated? All those ones from zero up to six apart can, can, can fit in this one because they all have a possible chance of being the first code. So how many? Don't say it's six. Remember zero is also a digit. So it is seven. Remember repetition is allowed. You can repeat those codes. So the next option for, for, for the second digit, it will also be seven. For the last one, it will be seven because repetition is allowed. If you multiply all this, you are going to get, I think it's three, four, three. Yes, it is three, four, three. How many unique codes? We can make about 343 codes from those. This is the easy ways to multiply the number of also possible outcomes. These are not codes that, 343 is not the code that we can get, but the number of possible codes that we can have are 343. 5.2, let's look at 5.2. Remember in this one, repetition was allowed. You can repeat, how do you write repeat? EP repeat was allowed 5.2 how many unique codes are possible if the digits cannot be repeated remember we want to make a three digit code that's what we want to make we want to make a three digit code uh, so it's one two three if it was four I'm gonna I was gonna make four how many unique codes are possible if the digits cannot be repeated? Yeah, now it's no repeat. How do you deal with no, repeti no, no repetition? It is not allowed. In the first one, we know that we can have any of, the, of, any of those numbers can be here. We've got seven options here. Now, you've put one here. How many options do we have now? It will be six. So it, it is one less times six. How many options will we have in this one? It will be times five. What is the answer there? Seven times six uh, times five, it will give us 210. 
So that's how we do this one. I repeat, here yeah, the repetition is not allowed. This one has already been taken. So how many, one of those is here. So how many options will you have about six? Two are taken. The next one will have about five options. If, if for suppose if three was here and uh, four was there, the end of those can be here, which is five in this particular case. We are looking at options, not the actual uh, uh, codes. So we've got 210 possible uh, codes that we can get out of those uh, seven digits. I want us to look at uh, the next one, which is 5.3. What is 5.3 saying? In case where digits may be repeated, ah, you can repeat, repetition is allowed, it's clear that. How many codes are numbers that are greater than 300 and exactly divisible by five? In case where digits may be repeated, this is 5.3, how many codes are numbers that are bigger than 300 and exactly divisible by five. Okay, remember that you are doing a three digit code. One, two, three, right. In case where digits can be repeated, how many codes are numbers that are greater than 300 and divisible by five? This is affecting the first digit because it should be greater than three. We can't have a digit, a code that will start with two or with one or with zero. That becomes important. In case where digit may be repeated, how many code are numbers that are greater than 300? Let's deal with greater than 300 first. Is 200 greater than 300? No. We we'll want codes that will start with 300 and above. Now, can the code, I'm looking for this space, can the code start with zero? No. Can the code start with one? No. Can the code start with two? No. Can the code start with three, four, five, and six? Yes. So how many options do we have in the first one? If we say the code must be bigger than 300, remember that we've got about seven uh, options here. So this one is out, this one is out, this one is out. So how many codes can, how many options do we have here? Four. It can be three, it can be four, it can be five, it can be six. So it's one, two, three, four. We've got four options in the first one. Remember, reputation is allowed. It can be four, zero something, it can be four, one something, it can be five, two something. So here, everything is allowed here. It can be anything because reputation is allowed. Those, the value that was here, you can also put it here because it says, in case where digit may be repeated. So since reputation is allowed, this one can be any value out of those seven digits times. Let's look at the most crucial one, the last one. In the case where digits may be repeated, how many codes are numbers that are greater than 300? We said we've got four options here. It is one, two, three, four. This, is, this will be less than 300. Uh, four. Let's look at the last one now. And exactly be divisible by five. Okay. That code must be divisible by five. Now, when it is divisible by five, it means the last number can only be zero and five. Because no any number five will be divisible by in this code. Five can't go here, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here, you can go there. Five can't go exactly divisible, necessarily remainder, can't go there. So if a number ends with a zero here, that can be divisible by five. If a number ends with a one, no, it's not part of our option. Two, no. Three, no. Four, no. Five, yes. Six, yes. So how many options do we have in this last column? We've got about two. We can on either have zero here or five, so that that value can, so that it can be divisible by five. So it can only be two options here. What is the total there? Four times seven times five. Let me check it. Uh, four times seven times two, it was 56. It is 56. How many marks is this problem? It's about three months. 
And if you, let, let, let's read the question again. In the case where digits may be repeated, how many codes are numbers that are greater than 300 and exactly divisible by 5? We explained divisible by 5. We've got two options here, which is 0 and 5. Can be four options here, which is 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's come back to this one. I'm trying to respond to this question because if I leave my answer like this, I'll be wrong. If we said we've got four options here, we've got seven options here and two here. Let's come back to these four options. Now, these four options here, in the case where digits may be repeated, how many codes are numbers that are greater, greater than 300? Now, the codes that we have here also includes with 300 because we said three can be here zero can be here and zero can be here because repetition is allowed but the question says in case where digits may be repeated how many codes are numbers that are greater than 300 and yet we involved 300 here to get 56 codes so the correct answer you must subtract that code that will give you 300 because 300 must not be part of the uh, options here so you need to subtract one here this becomes crucial we need to subtract one here and the correct answer will be 56 i hope you you, you understand this let, let, let's let's say this again in case where the digits may be repeated, how many codes are numbers that are bigger than 300? But the code that we have here also includes 300. For us, we are going to get 56 uh, different codes. But we need to multiply this code that gave us 300 to get the exact one that will be greater than 300. So 300 zero, zero will, will be part of the code, but we said we must not include 300 because we want something that is greater than 300. So you minus that one code that will give you 300 and you'll be left with uh, 56 different options. Thank you.